Zephyr Hills is famously known for its water, but the city says it's growing so quickly there's a real risk it could run out. So the Southwest Florida Water Management District says Northern Tampa Bay has been under a water use caution for more than 30 years now. And on your side's Brittany Muller is in Zephyr Hills tonight to explain what actions the city is now taking. There's explosive growth throughout Zephyr Hills. New development is popping up across the city. Now the city is stopping big developers from coming in and building for the next year. And it comes as Zephyr Hills is watching its water supply. Everywhere you look in Zephyr Hills, you'll see large development like this coming in. The city is, it's uh, grown quite a bit, almost doubled in size. In the last several years, we're now up to roughly 20,000 residents. Kevin Weiss with the city says council passed a one-year residential moratorium, which means the city won't accept new applications for new residential developments more than an acre for the next year. It's a, a proactive measure um, to make sure that we can provide uh, water to, to all residents uh, that are moving in and coming into Zephyr Hills. The city uses an average of 2.9 million gallons per day so far this year, coming close to hitting its limit of 3.3 million gallons per day. Southwest Florida Water Management District says the city has submitted an application to increase the limit to 4.46 million. They went through an, an annexation and expansion process so they will be uh, utilizing more water from the city. Weiss says the bottled water company Zephyr Hills currently uses 14 and a half percent of the city's daily water supply and that will only increase with their expansion. This moratorium primarily affects the new big developers, not the ones that are already under construction or the residents. In Zephyr Hills, Brittany Muller, 8 on your side.